Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Distance Learning Lesson 5.6, Transformations of a Sine Curve, putting it all together. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take everything that we've learned in the last couple of lessons, and we're going to put it all into one question. So there's going to be an A value, an H value, and a K value all at once. Scary stuff. So we need a little bit of a summary of what's going on here. So let's first talk about the A value. What does this A value do? Let's remember. Well, if A is negative, then what you have is a reflection in the X axis. So if A is negative, we're going to get a reflection in the X axis. So what else happens with A? Well, if A is greater than 1, then you have a vertical stretch by a multiple of A, whatever that value is. And if A is between 0 and 1, then you have a vertical compression. by a multiple of A. So those are all the things that happen with A. What about K? Well, K is kind of interesting. K is outside the sine function. So K is also going to affect the sine curve vertically because it's outside the sine function. So if k is positive, greater than 0, means positive, then we have a vertical shift up k units. And if k is negative, that's the way we say negative, less than 0, then we have a vertical shift down k units. So that takes us to the last one now. What about h? Well, h is inside the sine function. And h will affect the graph horizontally. So what we get is if h is greater than 0. So it would look something like this. It would look like sine x minus 30. So that's a positive h because the negative and the negative, there's the positive. So this would be a horizontal shift right. 30 degrees. And if h is negative, so it would look like this, sine. Now we've got to be careful there because that negative and negative are going to interact to give us. So it's going to look positive, but h was really negative. And that's going to be a horizontal shift left 30 degrees. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pause the video there and I'll be right back.